So before we put the exhaust manifold on, there's a little bit more wiring. So this is the exhaust cam variable timing actuator. So we'll put that in and lock that one into place. Now we have some clamps here that sit on this front face of the power steering pump and they can just be kind of pressed on. They sit on quite tight and they kind of lock into place, they've got little jaws. Now, this doesn't... So this oil pressure sensor wiring, this is not factory. It looks like um, someone's had some issues at some point. Um, that just pressed together. I'm going to put a little bit of tape over that because I'm not just happy with that it's still exposed. And I also noticed that there's no bracket for this to attach onto. So um, I'm just going to tape it all up together and then we might have to cable tie it to something just so that it doesn't come over and touch the exhaust manifold or get into the way of the belts here. So again, this is something you wouldn't normally have to do. It looks like it's um, been an issue in the past that somebody's patched up. I'll just neaten it up and protect it a little bit. Now I'm just going to feed this on the other side of that radiator pipe because if there's no brackets to support it on anything down here. So you can get that oil pressure switch in, get the aircon compressor plug in. And just looking at the way that wiring's sitting, um, it's not going to come into any sort of harm's way. So I'm okay with that. And that's the rest of the wiring done on this end. Now, before I put this intake manifold on, I just want to clean up this surface here a little bit, just um, so that it's not too rough and that it seals up perfectly. So I'm just going to use a wire brush and just just clean it up a little bit, make sure that there's um, no debris or anything on here. And you can see the sections that seal. And look, there's no pitting or um, any concerns. Just a little bit of carbon sitting on there. Also, while we've got this out, just want to make sure that these two bolts um, run in smoothly. Um, and we need to take them out of the way. And also mine had a bit of a makeshift repair on here. So obviously at some point someone had some fun and I just have a bolt and a nut that fits onto there, but you should have uh, three of these. Now I don't have a new exhaust manifold gasket. This one is in pretty good condition and I'm gonna give it a go to reuse it. Um, but if I have any exhaust leaking, I'm gonna be pretty confident that it comes from there. I um, definitely want to use a new gasket on here. Uh, we can only go on one way, so just position it the right way. There's no in or out, but um, you can have it upside down, in, in which case none of it will line up. We can just lower this exhaust in place. it onto those studs there. I'm just gonna run one or two nuts on here just to make sure that it stays in place um, while I do some work from underneath. So looking at the underside here, um, I've always got plenty of room later on to put this on, but I'm just gonna kind of sit it in the right spot. And at the moment, the exhaust manifold is still quite loose. But I want to run those two bolts that sit up um, to support the exhaust manifold on before I tighten it up. So the easy way to do that is just sit them in your socket and just get them started by hand. Okay, now these um, exhaust manifold nuts, it is a good idea to replace them because they often get quite corroded. 
um, and they get round off if you try and take them off. Look, these are in pretty good condition. I don't have an issue putting these ones back on. Um, but in an ideal world, we'd definitely replace them. Now the ones on the top are fairly easy just to run on. The ones on the bottom are a little bit more challenging, but if you sit them into your socket um, and run them through, you can get them started. And once they're started, they, they'll stay in place. Once they've all just been done up finger tight, I'm just gonna go around and torque them up. I'm gonna start in the middle and kind of um, spiral my way out. Um, these get done up to 20 Newton meters. So I'm just doing a couple of passes just to make sure that they're all still tight as we've gone around. Next thing I'm going to do is reinstall the heat shield. So it just slides down, but before we slide it down, just feed up the O2 sensor wiring. Feeds up through there. Now sometimes this needs to bend a little bit to get back into place. It's roughly in that position. On this end here, we have a small bracket. It's got two little um, locating holes that just locate into that heat shield. So I'm just going to line it up. And just get that first bolt in place. Now, we need to also put the dipstick tube in while we're doing this. And um, it's got, well normally, just has the one O-ring sitting in here. Uh, for whatever reason, this one has a extra one sitting on there. So we'll sit that on. Those O-rings are still quite soft and they haven't gone brittle, so I'm quite happy just to reuse those. So that needs to run down in through that little gap in there. And often you need to get in from under the car just to line it all up. So that sits down in there quite tightly in there. Sometimes if those O-rings are new, you really have to press that in quite hard. Um, and then we have another Torx bolt that secures the bracket on for the dipstick tube. Make sure that this bolt doesn't cross thread because often uh, there's a little bit of pressure on it as you're trying to wind it in from that dipstick tube pressing up. Before I tighten this up fully, I'm just going to reach down and put the two 10 mil bolts in on the front face here. Sometimes it's easier from underneath. I'm going to duck underneath and try it. So I've just done up those two 10 mil bolts from underneath. Now I'm just going to tighten these ones on the top. Again, make sure this one's in the right spot before you do it up too tight, otherwise those little lugs won't line up. With those two tightened up, we can now put the wiring into that little holder and it clicks around into here. Um, and that keeps that wire off that heat shield just to keep some heat out of it. Um, and our dipstick tube is secure. Now off to the side here, there's a little bracket that goes on to the head and to the power steering pump. It's quite a uh, special bolt. So it's a, oh, well, essentially it's a bolt with another section on it. So it's not one that you want to mistaken and lose. So it runs in with that shoulder in towards the cylinder head. So with this one now done up, do it nice and firm. This bracket can now go between this pipe and here, oh sorry, this bolt and here. Just make sure that um, 
Like you really can't sit it the wrong way because it just won't fit in. So I'll run this one into the power steering pump. So now we've got that bracket bolted down at both spots, so I'm happy with that there. 